Hi guys, this is a quick video on how to use the Z Modeler brush within ZBrush. I'm using version 4R8P2, and this is just for anyone that's never really used it and is new to ZBrush. This is just a basic intro to the, the Z Modeler brush. So, where do you find the Z Modeler brush? It's activated or found in the brush palette, right? And it's down in here somewhere. I normally get there by going B Z M with the keys on the keyboard and that's the shortcut. B to bring up the brush palette, Z to isolate and then M to isolate the brush. So there we have it. And then you can find <clears throat> when you hover over an edge or a point in the middle there or a polygon you're going to get options. When you hold the space bar so we're ho hovering over a polygon, hold the space bar, we now have polygon actions. It's at set on QMesh at the moment. You've got lots of them. You've got inflate, insert point, inset, mask, mesh to brush, crease, bridge, bevel, extrude, and so forth. And then your target is a single poly, where you can have flat border, flat island, or polygons, polygroup border, there are all your targets. And then these are your steps, that's for aligning a Q meshing up a polygon into a step, so it gives it like a slope, <coughs> a slope, sorry. And these are your modifiers. So if you were to hold Alt, and that will select two polygons, but because we have symmetry on, it obviously selected one either side of the X symmetry. Don't ask me where the X-symmetry is. We'll put it on our floor and have a look. We're upside down, right. Right, so there we have Z forward. X is um, negative zero. R right side of X is positive, positive zero and our Y axis. Right, so if we hold Alt, that changes the poly group. So basically that is now, because we have a single poly selected with the QMesh polygon action, that is now one poly. So when we grab it, we can pull out and voila. Because symmetry was on, it's done it on both sides. And you can just tap again and pull out. Don't know why I didn't do it that side, but anyway. And you can also tap on that with your Alt key again to select those two and you can push back in. All right, beautiful function. So if you were to select these two and then drag towards this face here that I'm dragging towards, you now have a step. And that is how you get, with a polygon, your steps. So align tenth step, quarter step, third step, half step, full step, no alignment. So 10th step, basically you've got 10 little steps to pull up before it becomes a full size block again. Alright, there's your 10 steps going up, 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 bang, full to full size block. Now you can do that, let's say we're going to Q-mesh these, and just pull them out like so, and then we're going to put a step on them. Now we could easily just drag that back up like this one, but if you just tap, it will remember your last move. And then you tap again, and now you've just replicated exactly what you've done there. All right, so that's QMesh for polygon actions. You can also, for your edge actions, you've got insert for insert an edge. All right, that's inserting multiple edges. If you go to this side, you can go single edge loop. And then as you click, you can drag, and when you let go, that will wherever you let go, it, it will retain that position. So we'll put it in the middle. You can have one right in there, and just keep dragging them in. So that's insert edge loop. If you want to go to a point, you can go to a point, hit space bar, and you can go split. All right, split point. Don't really need to. You can don't need to touch any modifiers. We can split that point there, drag that out, if we come around the back, do the same, we can just tap, so it now becomes the same exact size as that one, hold on, we can alt, change the polygroup, 
Oh, accident. Change the poly group. Now, if we go to the polygon and go Q mesh, a single poly, we can now grab that poly there and push straight through with a quick flick, and you now have a hole. Quick and easy way to make holes. Right. So all I did was with my tablet pen, I just grabbed one polygon and I just dragged it through to the other side, to this side, and that created the hole. Very handy thing to know. You can also, let's see, we can bridge stuff. So we'll go to polygon, we'll go delete, we'll delete these polys. All right, we'll turn on double so we can see. So we now have a hole there and a hole here. So now we can go to edge and go insert multiple edge loops interactive elevation or is it bridge hang on I think I could be getting ahead of myself yes it's bridge we can go two holes spline circle or an arc we'll go an arc see how that goes and then you hover over an edge and it says bridge two holes click first hole so we click that one and we come over here and we click this one and then that didn't work of course it has to embarrass me right so click your second hole no that didn't work either I deleted that polygon right hang on very tricky sometimes so click and drag or do we have to drag that one? I might have already clicked this side on the other side, so. Alright, it still doesn't want to work. So we'll start again. Click first hole, click that side. So that's the outer edge. And then here, we should be able to click the inner edge. Right, and then we should be able to drag up. Which will give us the size of our hole, like so. And if we move it in another direction, it'll give us how, how much geometry, how many loops it wants to insert. So we can insert so many, like that. And now we have that sort of a shape. Very handy for making uh, tubes and pipes. I've got that in another video. I think it was my first or second video I put up. Um, so that is a very handy thing to know. It can be a bit of a pain getting used to trying to get the hang of that. Might be a lot easier if we went back and uh, start again. All right, we'll just drag this out. Why is my polygons on delete? That's no good. Should be on Q mesh, right? So if we drag that out, go to insert, single edge loop, one there, one there. Then we'll delete that polygon and that polygon, hit double. Go to edge actions, bridge, two holes, arc. Might go arcs and lines. We'll go up some lines. Hopefully it'll bring it up and over into more of a U-shape. So if we click the first edge. Hang on, I've got to take that off and delete polygons. We'll just go to cute mesh. So we'll click the first edge. No, very finicky sometimes. And the second edge and drag. Very, very finicky as well. You get the hang of it. So we don't want that many edge loops. About that many is nice. Now you have a nice arch. So very, very handy. The Z Modeler brush can do a lot of things. You can uh, 
come to points and you can move so you can just move a single point drag it wherever you want or you can slide if you want to slide the point doesn't really want to slide but there you are slide up slide down all right you can uh what else can we do we can hold that lot and then instead of Q meshing them we can say mask and tap it and that has now masked those four polygons or you can hold and go polygroup and actually change that to a different color polygroup like so so that's just a basic intro to the Z modeler brush thanks for watching catch you later